I'm so happy we made time to do this. I just, I love being alone with you. You know that, right? This is such a special Valentine's Day for us. I think you know you're the one, right? You've always been the one. So we're breaking up. He was too much, he's too much and he knows it. You know what I mean? It's like he's decadent and he knows it. It was all about him. We're gonna break up. I'm making a breakup board. It's a breakup board. I'm gonna start off by making these brownies. I love brownies just as they are, but I also like uh, to top them. Everything I'm gonna make today, we're gonna make even more indulgent just to show that cake that I don't need him. So I started by melting my butter and chocolate together. I'm just gonna take it off the pot. Thank you, sir. And now I'm going to stir in granulated sugar, brown sugar, and salt. Now I'm going to whisk in my eggs and egg yolks. I'm gonna put my vanilla in as well. There's more egg yolks than usual. There's a couple extra yolks. Yolks on you, isn't it? I just, I'm getting crickets. Is that what it is? And he didn't find me funny. Like, zero connection. He was a little dry. He was not dry, don't say that. I, <laughs> I baked him. So now we're gonna fold in our dry ingredients, flour and cocoa, but I wanna make sure to sift them. You can also pre-sift them in a separate bowl together, but you can do this. I'm free, I, I don't have a cake here telling me what to do. So now, we don't wanna over mix brownies. Um, because there is a lot of egg in this mixture, but you do wanna make sure that all the dry ingredients are incorporated, otherwise you'll see little lumps of flour and cocoa. So now I have a nine by 13 pan that I'm gonna line up perfectly with the overhead camera. Make sure you do that when you're baking at home. And I'm gonna pour the batter in. It's not like cake batter, it won't just spread itself. So we're gonna make sure it's spread evenly in the pan. I have to get all this off. I'm using my finger. Okay, moving on, I'm gonna make my cheesecake. So we're gonna mix our graham crumbs, our pretzels, and our sugar. I love this recipe. In fact, I never liked cheesecake growing up until I made this recipe. It's a little different because I put crushed or ground pretzels in the crust along with graham cracker. I love that, I love the saltiness. Really, you can make any crust you want. Oreo crumbs, ginger snap crumbs, you any sort of dry cookie that you can pulverize. Pulverize. That's a good word, butter. You know why? She makes everything better. She really does, she's amazing. So what you wanna do is just stir all of this together. You want the butter to saturate all of the crumbs. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the spoon to just push it to the edges of the pan. I want my crust to be firmly in place, so I love to use a smaller cake pan. You can also use a flat glass, a glass that's completely flat at the bottom. And then you just wanna press down, press. So now I'm going to pop this crust, this pan in the fridge, let it chill while I make the cheesecake mixture. We uh, realized we don't have a vanilla bean and this cheesecake recipe calls for vanilla bean. I he took all the vanilla beans with him, but I don't need them because I always save the pod of the vanilla bean. We make vanilla sugar with it, but what I'm going to do is pull out these pods and then I'm going to add about a quarter cup of sugar and guess what I'm going to do? Pulverize the vanilla bean and I don't need him. Oh, that was anticlimactic. Cut. There we go. I don't want it too fine, but you can see Oh wow, you can really smell this. Can you see that, Eli? I'm making the cheesecake batter now. I have my room temperature cream cheese in the bowl, and now I'm going to add sugar. I just topped up that vanilla sugar with the right amount of sugar to get the total amount that I need. We're just going to cream this until it's smooth. Now I had my mixer on quite high because it's cold here. So I just wanted to make sure it was nice and smooth, but now I'm going to add the mascarpone. Vanilla. Do you think this could be a beat? I'm gonna start adding the eggs. I'm not even doing it anymore. You gotta be like. So now I'm gonna add the flour.
The reason I like chilling the base before pouring the batter on top is so that I don't dredge up any crumbs. You know how I feel about dredging. Look at you. Look at you. I really, really love you. I could eat a whole cheesecake to myself. Really? Want to test that theory? Later? You want to bake it in a water bath. So what I like to do is put my cheesecake pan in a larger cake pan. If you're baking at home and your oven is low and you open it up, put this on the rack and then pour hot water down into the pan. You wanna make sure not to get any on the cheesecake, of course. And that just helps to keep the cheesecake like really nice and moist. So I've decided that one of the toppings I wanna to put on my cheesecake is lemon curd because I really love something tart and I'm feeling a bit sour and a bit bitter after my breakup. The first thing we're going to do is add our sugar to a stainless steel bowl, and then I am going to zest one whole lemon. I'm going to whisk the zest and the sugar together, and then I am going to add my eggs and my yolk. It's eggs and a yolk, right? It's yolks and an egg. Sorry, yolks and an egg, I knew it. Yolks on me. And then I'm going to whisk in my freshly squeezed lemon juice. Okay, so now we're gonna put our bowl on top of the hot water, which was already heating. And basically the heat and the steam from the water is going to cook the curd. I'm gonna take this, actually, can you pass? I have one, I have one. I kept it here, because I'm always asking for it. Wow, thank you. Prepared. So here's our curd, and now I'm going to add the butter. Ooh, did you hear that? Okay, and now I'm just gonna let it melt. You wanna cover your lemon curd by placing a layer of plastic wrap directly on the surface so it doesn't form a skin. Come on! I'm gonna glaze this brownie. So I love this glaze. I've used it on the channel in my um, Super Bowl Sunday cake, like the giant sundae. It's really great and it's really simple to make. You can make it in the microwave. It's just dark chocolate, butter, and corn syrup, either light or dark. Are you capturing the gloss? Or is it re too reflective for your lens? like shines bright like a diamond. And don't worry about it dipping down because I'm gonna cut off the ends of the brownie so that they're all. Snacks. I have to provide snacks. As a good business owner, it's part of, you know what I'm saying? We chilled and froze the cheesecake because I want it to be really cold so I can cut it really nice and crisp. There you go, and if it wasn't frozen, this would just peel off. Now I have to keep in mind that I want all the squares on the board to be the same size, whether they're cheesecake, red velvet, or brownie. So I've gotta pick a size that applies to all of them. I'm gonna cut my glazed brownie right now. Look how beautiful. No, I'm just gonna throw this on the board like that. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> that Serve yourself. Oh, I didn't tell you guys what I was doing. I'm just leveling my red velvet, and then I'm going to simple syrup her, and then I'm going to ice the top with cream cheese frosting. I'm saving that hump because I'm going to make some red velvet crumbs from it as a topper. So Tina, thank you very much for assisting me. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside so that the syrup soaks in. And then, I'm gonna show you how to reserve crumbs because I feel like that needs a demonstration. I'm taking my cake hump and then I'm cutting the caramelization off the top, which is so tender. This right here is so... And now, you can crumble the humps. Who's ready to ice a red velvet cake? Cream cheese frosting. The traditional frosting for a red velvet cake. That's nice. Time to cut this red velvet. This one is the most tender, meaning it's gonna be the easiest to cut, but also I can't rest my ruler on this frosting, because I'll just, so wow.
Hello, brownies. How are you? You know what this is, right? Wait, let's ask Eli. What is this? He's new Eli. here. Did you make this from earlier? No. You're close on the notes. It's cookie butter. There's a Belgian cookie called a lotus cookie. They're delicious. And they make cookie butter out of this cookie. And apparently how it started was as kids, kids eat lotus cookies and dip it in their parents' coffee and then like put it on bread and eat it. And so somebody at some point was like, let's just make like a peanut butter version of it. And it's delicious. I want to do like a perfect smear like I did in the book. You know what I'm talking about? And I don't know that I can. Look at me. I'm going to leave How to Cake It and I'm going to go work at a fine dining restaurant. What are you going to do with all those humps? I just, I, gonna, I, I just gonna... made it so lame. I, I said it properly. <laughs> what are you going to do with all those humps? <laughs> Oh, I don't know who I am. Even though we broke up, I'm not excluding the cherry pie filling. Okay, so the, the curd, I don't want to quenelle it again, do I? What if I just do drops? Okay, so I'm gonna add a few of these like really cute little pink pearly nonpareils. Oh, that's pretty. You brulee them. <laughs> you burn the bridge. Do you understand? Wow. See what I did that? So you just want a nice sprinkling. Oh yeah. I love to watch it burn. When you're bruleeing, you want to sprinkle on an even amount of sugar. And then when you hold your torch, don't hold it too close. And just sort of take your time. If you go too close and you try to do it too fast, it's just going to burn. You might get a little bit of burn on the edges of your cheesecake, but honestly, it's even more delicious. Mmm. Mmm. This is the breakup brownie. Mmm. Oh. You know how they say there's plenty of fish in the sea? There's plenty of desserts on this board. Even though you only baked three, you can top them in so many different ways. The brulee, I suggest to brulee your cheesecake at the last minute. I'm not eating more cheesecake. I'm not eating more cheesecake. Cut, I wanna eat more cheesecake. <laughs>